And welcome back. We are back with our entertainment critic, Ryan J. And he's got new movies and a series coming out today. Will he say to see it, stream it, or skip it? Sup, Ryan? Hey. Sup. Sup. <laughs> Sup, indeed. <laughs> what is happening? It was a what is happening? Okay. We, what does listen, that mean? We've been talking about budgeting all week okay. long, so we need to know if we should spend our money on these shows. Mm. So I thought you were budgeting one. your grammar instead of saying what's up. You're saving on it and saying what's up. Okay. Yes, I'm nice. on a, I'm on a gr <laughs> grammatical on diet. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> okay, the first one is Origin. This is PG-13. This is in theater. Should we waste our money or give not? It, not a waste of money. Give it all your money. Really? Yeah, I, I really love this movie. This movie is... It's, it's a mix of genres. It's partly a biopic of Isabel Wilkerson, who is the first African-American female to win the Pulitzer Prize in journalism. Okay. And it takes place of while she's researching a book about caste, but also intersects with moments of her life that are very dramatic and difficult. And so I kind of liked seeing how someone, you know, sometimes someone's carrying the weight of the, sh of the world on their shoulders in the sense they have all these responsibilities and deadlines and yet still have to deal with their personal life mm. and the distraction that that can be. Interesting. So, um, the the themes you're, you're liking. In Loving. This. I mean, I was so affected. It's called Cast and what her what she wrote, this book that it's based on cast, is where she's finding a commonality, uh, saying that like, you know, harms that were done or people weren't treated otherly because of race mm -hmm. or because of skin color or because of religion. So she looks at things like um, American slavery and the Holocaust. Yeah, but then you could see yeah, kind she, of some of the Hitler stuff. Exactly, there, she yeah. also goes to like India and the caste system there and, and finds, she has a very bold thesis that nobody thinks she can find a connection through and she mm. does find and almost writes it as like an essay say of scientific uh, thought and philosophy and proof it is so profound and incredible it's the kind of movie that could really make a difference it sounds wow. current because hate is hate right you know and love is love and love is love mm -hmm. exactly there, there's actually a really powerful quote in this movie that i wrote down it says moral hope our, um, moral hope that while we have seen the depth of humanity's capacity for evil, we have yet to witness our collective capacity for extreme love. Oh, I had to write it down. That. Elevate yeah. us, baby. So good. And you know, art can create empathy. And so yeah. I thought this was a way that, you know, we can't always relate to other people and walk in other people's shoes. But when you see something, you identify with the story, just the humanity of it, you can empathize with someone that's completely different with you. This movie does that. And you know, I say I cry, but I don't actually. Yeah. Because yeah. I have a heart of stone. <laughs> But I had wetness coming oh, on my and yes. You recognized it I as recognized tears. it. I wow. identified tears. I cried. See it. It's fantastic. Okay. Awesome. Good. And again, it it's called good. Origin. Mm -hmm. I love okay. it. All right, number two. It's this ISS. Yes, it, it stands for International Space Station. Okay. This and, is in theaters. Right, and it's not a true story. It's rated R, and this is about. Um, the, sp the space station is apparently true. It's a place where scientists uh, hang out. There's three Russian and three American, and they're working on very important scientific biological advancements and the rest of it. Okay, so who's in this? Well, Oscar winner Ariana DeBose stars along with Chris Messina, who we know from Based on a True Story, and Argo, John Gallagher Jr. from Broadway's Spring Awakening, and The Newsroom. Really great cast, but what happens is while they're up there, there's uh, a crazy event that's like my worst nightmare happens on Earth, and so oh. they're left up there, and then they kind of have to decide if they're going to turn against each other. Oh. So in a tight space like that, you can kind of see what's happening to the oh. earth there. Oh. Um, yeah. It's, this it's, is it's good. Terrifying. Is it's it scary? Ter it's my worst nightmare if, if you, you, you know, it's not scary. It's not a horror film. There's nothing scary about it unless, like me, you're afraid of the earth looking like that someday. So it looks kind of like an so apocalyptic sort of It's like a nuclear movie. war. There's basically a World War III nuclear war happening on the earth. This and looks so, like my kind like, of movie. Yes. So it's not like... I, that's my, I'm just so terrified of nuclear yeah. war, that's, you know, so I, um, but it is very, they have trouble with the connective tissue between the characters and some, there's some twists that the characters make that don't make any sense to who they are, so the character arcs don't make sense, so I'd say stream it. It's not mm. like gravity, the effects aren't amazing where you have yeah. to see it on the big screen, so, but it is a good, uh, suspenseful film, so it'd be fine to wait to stream. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I like it when you save us money. Mm -hmm. I do too. All right, your next one is The Woman in the Wall. This is, um, on TV, Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus and with Showtime. Showtime. Yeah. Okay. And here's the thing, the woman in the wall, right? So all I want to yeah. see is a woman in a wall. Why are you calling me that? We've had yeah. the woman in the window. We've had yeah. the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. We've had the woman in the room, the woman in black. So here's the woman in the wall. Now it's six episodes. I've only watched one, full disclosure, but I did not see a woman in a wall. What? And there's a lot going on that I was, that I was like, it was not living up to for me. 
Okay. Like, huh? Are so, the stars any good? I do like uh, Ruth Wilson there. She is very talented and she is standout in this. This is a BBC production and I often like those. I'm a fan of BBC, but there's so many random things. What's, what's happening here is it's, 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 she is sleepwalker and she finds a woman in her house. She doesn't know if she killed her, but she's dead. And um, it fl has flashbacks to Ruth's past where she was at the uh, Magdalene Laundries, which is basically a Catholic run asylum for women between you know, oh. 1922, 96, and thousands of women were abused and killed. And so, is it like a skip it? It for me is a skip it. All right. Yeah. All oh. right. So the woman in the wall. Yeah. There was skip no it. wall. Yeah. Ameri it didn't hook me. If it doesn't hook you after one. Yeah. yeah. Let it go. True. American Nightmare. This is on Netflix. This I thought should actually more appropriately be titled Tiffany's Nightmare. Oh <laughs> no. Not watching well, it Well, because we're friends and we've talked yeah. before about living and stuff and we both live alone, right? Yeah. And so uh, your biggest fear is living alone and having a home invasion. Yes. Right? I'm this, not going to live on a first floor because this, of it. Right. This is a three <laughs> episode docu-series on Netflix about um, true story so it's a documentary about this uh, man and woman who were at home home invasion kidnapping and then no one believed them this terrifying was, we, yeah if you remember this from like 2015 it was the real life gone girl people were calling it because oh. then she came back and oh. they didn't believe her that she was kidnapped they didn't believe any of his story first they thought he killed her and, oh. and he's not meanwhile it's what happened to them was true but they were just terrified and still under threat to not to the way that this three episodes unfold on netflix are fantastic i really enjoyed it if you like true crime stream it it's great should you look up the real story before before you watch it, maybe after. I don't remember it. Okay. Yeah, after because then it then it's like you get suspense. To, yeah, you get the suspense. As that is to called American happen. Nightmare on mm -hmm. Netflix. Yes. I'm gonna check that out. I know. And do movie, I want to or not? It's good. Ah. It's good. Origin. I gotta see that. Okay. So good. Thank you so much, Ryan. Ryan. You can follow Ryan J on social media at Ryan J Reviews for his full archive of entertainment reviews. His website is available 24/7 to help you decide what to see, stream, or skip. It's RyanJReviews.com or like me, I just text him. What <laughs> <I want? laughs> text me every 10 minutes. Yeah.